Hello, hello, hello. All right, guys, what's going on? In today's video, I'm going to jump back into the um, After Effects wheel, and we're going to and we're going to have a go at making a lower third for my videos. This one, or oh, wait, this one. I'll need to figure that one out, but you'll see it now. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's go. All right, so let's get this thing started. Before we actually start with the video, this is not meant to be a educational video in any way, shape or form. This is just purely me just talking through me doing this. I'm not expertise enough on After Effects to warrant me doing an educational video on it. This is me just talking through the process. I need to get this, I want to get this done and I want to get myself to get this done. And cards on the table, I couldn't think of a video to do this week. So I thought, yeah, might as well. Anyway, let's get to it. So, starting off, off screen, uh, this logo, a black and white version of the Instagram logo off Tintinet and I made it so that there's a version of it without a background and I made the same one but I made a white version of it so I've got two different versions of this lower third that I'm doing so if there's a particularly light background or if there's a particularly darker background I can use whichever one so the audience can actually see the text so they can actually read and what it's saying so I'm gonna start with the black one I'm gonna put this in and that didn't work why didn't that work hmm hmm Mm -mm. Right, I'm already going to take a break. I don't want to use up space when I'm not going to be doing anything in, in this next bit. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Bye. All right, so um, I'm back. I found out the issue. Basically what happened was I had saved the images as JPEGs or exported them as JPEGs instead of as PNGs, so that transparent background that I'd managed to manipulate the photo to have didn't come through in the export. But we're back, and we can get to it. That was a loud clap, I do apologise. Alright, so first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to size this to a size that I actually hold shift as I'm doing that, Jack, keep to maintain that size, to maintain the right shape. About there. Yeah, that'll be big enough. What I'm wanting is I'm wanting it to kind of like spin in, like start off tiny and spin in and big and expand as it rotates so I'm going to be using the rotation and the scale yeah 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 how much do I want it to turn I don't want it to just be 90 degrees because that'll seem fairly robotic so I want to be past 90 degrees so if I Well, that's not doing anything. Let's have the dot directly underneath. Let's have like the flash directly underneath the lens on the logo. And let's have the scale <laughs> all the way down. Oh, I can just set them to zero, I'm sure then. Yeah, there we go. Awesome. Yeah, and you can't see it at all. Okay, so then what I'd like to have it is, it as it expands, it almost expands too much. And it scales down again. So it kind of like, almost like on like a bouncy castle, it bounces and then it resets kind of whoom, like that as it so that is relatively clean and then the it kind of bounces a little bit <clears throat> is what I'm hoping for so yes let's have it go a bit too big yeah yeah down to 20 yeah so not too much so that change between the oversized version and the correct size isn't too big it's not exp it's not going to the like the whole screen or anything like that it's not that big of a change it's just there, that's better. And it's F9. F9 to make me easy. There it is. Yeah, that's where it is. That's good. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, it looks the best when the rotation, in my opinion at least, it looks best when the rotation stops at the same time as the scale finishes growing and starts receding again. I'm going to start with a line coming out and it's going to be very very similar to my title thing where it's going to be coming out my Instagram tags gonna come above it 
and my name is going to come underneath it. Or should the name, or, would, or should the word Instagram come underneath? I'll figure out. I'll figure out. Is that how that works? Nope. Very much not. It's having started back here. And shift that right over so it's making contact. Nope. That's not what I'm wanting. Yeah, that works. Okay, cool. Uh, what I've done so far, the Instagram logo is going to rotate out, and as it's as the corner starts pointing towards the direction that the line will come out, the line comes out, and it continues there, and you can't see the line behind there. So that's what I've done here. Instagram. What font is that? Oh, there it is. Cool. Yeah. So there we go. First one transform position all right sorry about that my camera cut out recording and i didn't realize so basically what i've done is i've added some easy ease keyframes also i've added some keyframes to the position of my um text on the jack wells films and i've started to move it up as my line as the underline for this part for, for that name gets just past the point the line would the you can see what I'm talking about. The line passes the name Jack Wells Films and then the name Jack Wells Films starts coming up. And then let's make them easy ease. Yeah, that's better. That's nicer. Then let's just do the same with the Instagram text. There, yep, there we go. Awesome. Oh no, that's all that's left to do now is add a mask to it. So that's all that's left to do. Or masks to it. Now why is that moving with it? Let's pre-compose it. Sure, let's, why not? Pre-compose. Jack Wells Films uh, tag. Let's just call that the tag. There. And then from there, add the mask and set it to subtract. Now will that stay stationary? No, okay, now it does stay stationary. Okay, I'm with you. Okay, so now let's just do the same with the Instagram one. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, all right, yeah, cool, epic, nice. Okay, pre-compose everything, yeah, no. No, layer pre-compose, so select them all, layer pre-compose, there we go. Let's call that social, spell it correctly this time. Edit, duplicate, wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Is that not what you need to do? Oh, right, okay. So, delete that one from here. Duplicate. Duplicate. Dupe. Layer. No. Edit. Duplicate layer. Then on this one, time, reverse time. Uh, move it over to that. So then it's coming out. And then it's coming back in. Awesome! Yes, so. There it is. There it is. I'll show you one more time. There it is. And there it goes. Awesome. So I'm going to need to play around with the timings of it and make sure I've got that timing right. But other than that, I'm really happy with that. So yeah, so now I've got a lower third that I can put in at some point in any of my videos to promote my Instagram account. So yeah, that is the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you got something out of it. I know this probably wasn't the easiest to follow along, but yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed watching me make this really cool lower third. Right, what do I just do? Select that again. Oh. Hey, I'm really happy with that. Awesome. No, yeah. So let's, I'll call it a day there and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.